Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna create this nice building. I think most of you already saw it, this building, uh, which is uh, I have deposited in my Instagram. So if you don't know, I have the, my own Instagram, go there, follow me and you will be always stay tuned what I'm doing. So actually this is building uh, I'm doing right now in my, uh, in my main job, but I will show you how you can create this kind of egg Mm, the structure in Revit. We will use three different ways. We will use like Revit Vanilla, we will use Dynama and we will export from the other software. So if you are ready, let's get started. The first way which we will use, this is Vanilla 1, so we not will use any external program, we not will use any Dynama, we will use only the Revit and our hand, that's it. So let's create the new project, as you can see uh, why I'm creating the, always the new project, I wanna show you like I'm not using any external things, so only the Revit standard things. Here is the my uh, Revit. First of all, let me I will create some more levels because I have only one level. Actually, this is not so necessary, but uh, we will create it because we want to create it. So I will create some of the bunch of the levels uh, above the first level, and I will create some for the parking just to not spend our time after that one. And let's a bit extend it. Done. So let's go to the, our level. And now we will go straight away to the file, create the new conceptual mess, and use the template metric mess. Let's create it. Now, once you will create it, you will see this kind of the workspace. So what are you gonna do next? Next, you should create the uh, form. Let me I will go to the top, and I will show you. Uh, we should create the form something like that. But uh, if you will create so formula or something like that, it's not able to make it round in this uh, template mode. It's impossible to create it. But we have the tricky way, which is I will show you right now. Let me first I will create the uh, cycle. Once I you will create the cycle, uh, let me I will create the cycle and I will create the ellipse. I want to show you difference. And here the ellipse. Ellipse. This is actually what we want. But let me will show you difference. Once you will select the ellipse and you will try to create the form, Revit straight away will create just um, extru just extruded. So we don't want it. We want to create the round form. Let me will show you the other thing. For example, I will s select now my uh, cycle one and I will create the form. And as you can see now, Revit giving us the option. First, it's same like previous one. Create the extrusion. The second one is creating the round, the sphere. So actually we need the second one. So what we're gonna do next? We created our sphere, this fine. Let me will delete this one. Just use the top key and delete it. But we will modify it right now. Just select this uh, this boundary here, the this line. Just ho hold your mouse here, uh, select it, and you will see edit profile. Actually, this is what we want. Now we can change our profile to the other one. For example, we have now rounded one. Let me will delete this one and I will create the ellipse. Here is the my ellipse. I will create from the center and something like that. Let me will do maybe like that. But now we need slice it because we want to get only the half of our ellipse. Let me will do use the slice. It's here, split element. Let's split some way here. Now use let's use the uh, trim. Where's our trim? Here. Let's use the trim. And let's uh, select this line and that side. And again, this line and that side. Till we not get the form something like that. So what the next? Next, just apply yes and we get our form. As you can see, you not spend a lot of the time to get this form. You can modify it after that. Just select this line and use this bottom. But once you will try to modify it, you will see here is the gap. So, as you understand, if you want to modify this profile, you should select it again, go to the profile and change it. For example, I don't like this uh, anymore. Let me I will delete. I will use again my ellipse from the center to this point and let me I will do it more bigger like that. Again, you need slice it and use the trim, one and two. Let's say okay. 
And as you can see now we get a bit different form. Ok, we get the form, what the next you will say. Next just load this form inside to do your project. Revit will say like if you will load this uh, mass element, it's uh, by standard it's uh, invisible, so I will make it visible. Ok, it's not a big problem. Let me, I will place it somewhere here, let me, I will go to the 3D. Uh, I will change the view to the shaded one, and as you can see here is the my mass form, as you can see. Yeah, it's not uh, the right size, we should make it smaller, but anyway, the idea is the same. After that, okay, you have the form, but you need the walls, if you will see the, if you will check here, here is the walls. So it's easily go to the messing, here you will find the wall, choose any wall what you want, for example I wanna use 200mm, and by form, just click one form and click other form. Now you can switch it off to your mess and here is your wall. You don't believe me? Select this and you will see this is wall. Now you can create some internal things. I will show you. For example, you can select this one. I, I prefer to use the section box. Let me I will use the section box. I want to use it like that and let's split it. And as you can see, this is what I get and this is what in my project. This is pretty same, now you need only to create your floors. We don't have the, a lot of the time, let me I will create really for floor, fast, fast, I will create the floors, I will switch in my mass form again and I will use the form. Now I will use the select, I should select the my form actually, yes, the my form, create the floors, let me I will select the my form, where is the my form? Here is the my form, create the floors, I will create floor for 10 of the all, and as you can see, here is the my floors. It's not taking a lot of the time, and you can just now place the floors, for example, or you can select all them, and select create the four floors. Now and switch your mess, and as you can see, we get our floors. So by this simple way, you can easily create with the standard Revit tools. You, after that, you can able to change walls. For example, now I'm using 200, but you can easily change to the 300 without any pretty big problem. But what about the, the, about other ways? And now we will see how you can create by another ways the same kind of form. Now, as I said, let's talk about Dynamo. Why we are using Dynamo? As I said, uh, Dynamo is making our work more uh, better because uh, if you need to do some changes later on by Dynamo, you can do it much faster. Okay, enough the theory, let's talk about the uh, practice. Let me I will go to the manage and here I will find Dynamo. As you can see, I'm working on 3D view, I'm not doing anything, uh, it's again the clear project. Before I will create something, let me create the new project and go, go the straight away to the settings. Here you will find geometry scaling. Our geometry will be really big, it's like 20 meter by 10 meter, it's at least. So it means we should go to the scaling and use the extra large, because here as you can see now units from the 1 to the 10 million. Uh, such as 10 million, it's 100, 100 meters, uh, 100,000 meters, I, I don't remember actually. But this is what we need. Use the apply, okay, done with that. So what the next? Next we should create our the ellipse or, yeah, we should create the ellipse. But we don't need the exactly ellipse, we need the only part of the ellipse, such as mean arc. So, or you can use the any el uh, ellipse if you want, but I will use the arc, this is, will be pretty enough for us for, for now. Or we will use the two of them, let's see. Let me will use ellipse, just write down ellipse. Here you will find the different type of the ellipse, if you will go to the menu ellipse, you will see we have the ellipse and we have ellipse arc, let's use the both of them. Uh, first I will use the, for example, this one, original one, here is the original one, let's start from this one. And here's the radius, as you can see, X and Y. As I said, uh, it will be really big and let's start from the 15,000, 15,000 by, I don't know, 25,000. Okay, like that. And let's connect one to the X, one to the Y. And as you can see, it's really huge. Now I will go to the enable background 3D preview and I will scroll it down. Let's use rotate to see it. Is it ellipse? Yeah, it's ellipse. And let's go back to the our mm, our node mode. 
okay, we did it, but now we need making revolve actually. Uh, actually, with the ellipse, when you're using just original ellipse, it's a bit hard to do that. I want to show you a really fast way. Let me, I will uh, un unpreview this one, and I will use the ellipse arc. Ellipse arc, and here we will use the uh, ellipse arc by angle. Why is that? Ellipse arc radius, this one, by angle. We will do everything same. We will connect this one to the radius, this one to the radius, and as you can see, we get the our radius. But we will change only the sweep angle. For example, we will change it to the 90, to the 180, like that. Let's connect start to the end. Actually, end it's already as we want, but I will do it one more time. And as you can see, this is what we want. Why? Because because actually we will uh, sweep it around like that. So we no need to get all this profile. We need only the half of this profile to sweep it around. Once we will sweep it around like that, we will get our ellipse. Okay, let me I will show you. Now, as you understand, we need the revolve. Let me I will use the revolve. Here is the revolve, and we will use the uh, this one, the by surface. So, actually, the only one thing we should do, we should connect our ellipse to the profile, and we get the error message. Error message doesn't mean you did something wrong. You should read it, what Dynamo or Revit trying to say us. And as you can see, unable to revolve, blah, 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 where X is. This is axis now is wrong. As you understand in uh, all 3D programs, we have like three different axes. One, two, and three. So x y and z different program different x y z anyway so we have three different and now we are using the wrong because we are using now x axis we need the y let me will show you again we need right here the vector vector x actually it's where looking our uh, axis and we need the y here is the y that one as you can see with this uh, icon and let's connect the vector uh, to the direction. And that's it. As you can see, we get our half of the building. Yeah, exactly the half. Because I did from the 90 to the 80 degree only rotating. But we can get uh, 260. Because here the sweep angle, as you can see by default here the 180, you can easily change to the 260. 260 connect to the angle and here is the form as you can see we spend not a lot of the time but we get already the form as we want and what the really nicest thing nicest thing this is a code block we can create now slider let me I will create the number slider I will create uh, with the some uh, rules the minimum will be 1000 millimeter and maximum will be 30,000 millimeter let's say 30,000, yeah. And step will be 1,000. Okay, like that. And first we will change to the 15, as here, or 14, doesn't matter. I will copy it, and the second one I will change to the 22. Now I can easily connect to the radius, to the radius, and as you can see, now you can delete this one, you can manipulate now with the radius. You no need create your profile manually anymore. Now you can do it here without any any some such hard things. Okay, we did it, but uh, how to get in Revit? Because in Revit we get something like that. In Revit you can do it, uh, you can import to the Revit by import, actually. Let me, I will use the import. Here the import, and we need to use the instance by geometry, this one. Import instance by geometry. And just connect your surface to the geometry, go back to the Revit, and here's your Here's your form, as you can see. So now you already know the second way how to create uh, the form in Revit. Uh, and, uh, I mean the in Dynamo, the previous one uh, with without any Dynamo in Revit. And now I will show you the other way how you can do that. Let's let's continue. Now we are switching to the another software. You can use any other software, but I choose the Rhino. Let me open the Rhino. Why I choose the Rhino? Uh, actually, we will use the Grasshopper, and I want to show you. If you understand how to create, for example, some deform in the Dynamo, 
you can create it easily in Grasshopper. If you understand how to create in Grasshopper, you can easily understand to the Dynamo. Of course, not without any problem. You will have the any problem, but you will understand the logic of the program. Here is my Rhino. Let me go to the uh, Grasshopper. Here is the Grasshopper. And we also will start from the, uh, the creating the shapes. Uh, here in uh, Rhino, we can easily create start from the sphere. Because ellipse, it's the sphere, but the one side is much longer than the other side. That's it. So we can just easily use the sphere. Here I will say it, it will be 1000, uh, 1000 millimeter radius. Let's connect to the radius and let's see what we get. Uh, I will maximize to maximize uh, the, my window. Here is the, my 3D as you can see. And now I want just uh, use the scale or I just want to make it a bit bigger on this side. And we will get what we want. To get it, we need just a scale our building, uh, our form I mean. Just double click, let's write the scale. And here is the scale and you. So just scale if you are using. It's mean like you scaling all your uh, in all axes by and you you choosing which uh, direction you will scale it. Let connect sphere to the geometry, and I will show you something like like that. Give me a second. Like this, much better. And now let's scale it. We will start from the numbers like 2 and I will connect this number to the Y. And as you can see it's like in Revit, same direction, I mean same axis, this is Y and you can now easily to scale it. You can change the this number to the other one if you want. You can change the uh, volume and the range as you can see everything in, like in Revit. You can change for example not from the number integer number, you can change to the floating number and it will be give you more variable as you can see when you're using the floating number. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you can see here the two uh, two forms. It's like in Revit and like in Dynamo. Right click here and preview it, and you will see only the last uh, only the last um, shape. Once you will finish, just select this node, which is the last one. Right click and bake it. Bake it. Once you will do that, now you get the form. Now you just need select your form, go to the file, use the export selected and export your form. Let's use the Rhino 3DM or better to using for that one SAT file. I will use the SAT. Here I use the AutoCAD file. Once you finish, go back to the Revit, use the insert, you use the link cut, change to the SAT files and connect your SAT to the Revit. Revit will think like a bunch of the time, it's not a lot of them, but he will think it. Uh, once it will finish, you will get your geometry inside in Revit. But don't forget about the scale, because Rhino and Revit using different type of the scale. And as you can see, we get we get really huge, the big, uh, I mean the huge uh, form. So we should make it twice smaller. Maybe not twice, maybe ten times smaller. But anyway, as you can see, we get the form. Uh, about this, this is just example how you can create the form. We have the Rhino inside. We have, uh, for example, we can create in Rhino the form without any grasshopper. We can create in grasshopper without the Rhino inside. So there are a lot of the topics about the Rhino. I want to just share with you, like you have a lot of the ways how you can create. I think this is that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in this topic, if you're interested in the topic uh, about the Rhino, about the Revit and Rhino inside, let me know below the comments. I will try to make new tutorials about that. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.